According to Christians, Jesus is the living word who never did or said anything contrary to the written word. Some Christian believers took it upon themselves to ask the rules of his death and how he taught the disciples the acts of serving one another through the washing of his disciples' feet. Judas was one of the twelve who had been with Jesus for three years and had heard all his teachings and seen all his miracles. It is certain he was not an immature disciple, but equivalent of a senior Christian leader. The preoccupation of the disciples is like what we see not only among our politicians but also within the churches and the Christian community. Judas Iscariot, a close associate of Jesus according to the Bible, became an instrument in the hands of the devil. Speaking to Captain Television on the significance of Good Friday to the Christians, a Catholic priest, Father Joseph Oye Kunfe, had his view on the day. The significance is that we are enacting the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, the passion and the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is good, what is good about this Friday is that he died for us on the cross of Calvary. And on the cross of Calvary, he said, it is finished. And as he said, it is finished, which means what? All the, the pains, the agony is suffered, it is finished on the cross of Calvary. And in turn, we too are called to carry our own daily crosses every day and follow him. So the good Friday is the fact that he came to die for you and I, so that you and I can be saved. In Africa, where we experience autocratic governments, the likes of Idi Amin of Uganda and Sonia Bacha of Nigeria, it is important to welcome democracy where the voice of the people prevail in decision making. The will of the Father for the Son is to die that he may provide a way of salvation to mankind. Speaking further to Captain Salvation, other believers also add their view on the day. And Good Friday is a day we remember the passion, suffering and death of our Lord Jesus. This remembrance keeps us in mind of what Christ went through for our sake and for us to have a repentant heart, to live a life worthy of our Christian calling and to also know that in one, uh, each of us we are called to carry our cross and follow Christ and to appreciate what he did for us on this day. The significance of Good Friday to us as Christians is this is the day that God, through his son Jesus Christ, died for us for the redemption of mankind. So it is called a Good Friday because to us it is a day of salvation. So I think that is the significance of today. According to the Holy Book of the Christians in the hour of great trial, Peter denied Jesus despite his promises. It is easy to claim Jesus as our Lord in the solitude of our living room and among like-minded friends, but it can be hard to do so in a hostile environment.